<laughs> hey, Gillian and Chris, how are you doing today? Thank Good. you. Okay, as well as can be, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> I uh, so I love the movie truly. I'm not one of those terrible critics. I promise. <laughs> um, so let's start easy. What did you like best about working with each other? Oh, that's a nice oh, question. Yeah, that's a nice question. I think we had a lot of fun, right? Yeah, this was a pretty fun experience. I'd have to say all around, and um, I just enjoyed the whole process of it. And and in some ways, it did feel kind of like. Um, summer camp we shot it in the summer a lot of the crew uh, has worked together a lot and um, it was a really just fun familial summer camp kind of atmosphere on set and Chris yeah, I think Gill Gillian and I have really sensible uh, similar sensibilities when it comes to to comedy and also I I got I feel like we're aligned on on everything you know I, I feel like we 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 have very similar taste and and uh, similar ways of, of thinking and um and i think it it made it really easy honestly to to kind of make the movie together um and also really really trust gillian's opinion on things and um and i i felt trust from her um as, as we made the film. And, and so it, it was just a, a really lovely experience. Well, so Chris, when you were casting, how did you know Gillian was the right person for Kate? I didn't at first. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, uh, and then we met and we talked on Skype and um, back before everybody used to talk on, on, uh, on Skype all the time. Um, and and I, we just had a really we connected and had a really good conversation on the script about the script and um i was a big fan of her work uh before i was, had seen community but but wasn't a diehard but really really loved um the show love on netflix and i had watched every episode of that and and knew that gillian was great you know what else i saw you in that i loved you in was um was Lemon, Janixa's. Oh yeah, I loved, yes, that was so fun. Yeah, you're so, and you're so, your character is so funny. Thank you. Yeah. It's such a funny part and, um, and I, yeah, that was, that was part of what made me want to, want to cast you in the movie too, is that I was just like, I should kill that role. Oh, I gotta, I gotta write Janixa a thank you note for yeah. Lemon. <laughs> Uh, what were uh, your university experiences like? Do you look back on it fondly? Nope. <laughs> no. No, I went to a really um, strict acting conservatory where every single moment of my day was scheduled for me. And so this whole experience of this film and what these characters are talking about college and what college means is completely different from what I experienced. It was, um, it felt high stakes, high pressure, um, they put me on probation. I was almost kicked out at the end of my sophomore year. So I don't have that. I don't, I didn't have that kind of college experience that these characters are experiencing. Um, but I can understand that college meant that for other people. <laughs> <laughs> that, uh, definitely the script is inspired by my university experience. And I went to Southern Illinois University, which is um, not explicitly said in the film, but that is in Carbondale, Illinois, and it's where the movie takes place. And, um, and it was obviously it wasn't exactly like this is a more romanticized version <laughs> of it. But, um, but definitely it was I went to a small state four year university and um, very nostalgic for it still. Did you have a teacher or mentor that changed you or helped you grow? Um, I did, of course I did like everybody I did th sort of throughout, but there's, there wasn't one, there wasn't one particular person, um, that, that meant, meant something to me in the way that I think Jermaine's character me meant the same thing to, to Kate. And, uh, I loved your little Instagram cameo. It was very cute. <laughs> Um, and let's talk about the rest of the cast. I mean, everyone's great, but Brandon and Rammel, oh my God, <laughs> so good. So, so, 
Yes, Ramel Chan is a place, Elliot is a local Chicago actor. And I, I found Ramel um, through, we did, a, we did a reading of the script um, for the Screen Actors Guild here in Chicago months before we even started casting. And um, Ramel was, was cast as Elliot for that. And um, he was I, so perfect. Um, so it was really, I had to kind of fight for him a little bit during the casting process because he's not in the world of Hollywood. He isn't a big name, of course. Um, but I, I just loved him. I thought he was so good. And then Brandon Daly, who plays, um, uh, is definitely a steam stealer and, um, is also a, a Chicago actor who, and a filmmaker in his own right, who, um, who I just happened to know in my social circle. And um, so I wrote the character after him, um, which is how he got to be a part of the movie. Oh my gosh. And Gillian, what was it like working with them? And then also with Josh and Forrest and Chloe. Oh, and Hannah and Jermaine. And, yeah. and I mean, it really just is such a terrific cast. And um, I loved working with all of them. I love my scenes with Ramel. We were in that van, <laughs> scene after scene in that van together. And he would have to put it in reverse. It's always nerve wracking when you're driving a picture car because you're like, what if I do something wrong and break this car? And so Ramel had to drive the car all the time. But oh, Brandon, I was just completely fascinated with Brandon and would just pepper him with questions um, about his life in between every take and Chloe and Forrest and Hannah and Jimmy. I mean, just, it was a pleasure. Josh, it, I loved everyone. And for both of you, did you have a favorite scene or moment to shoot? <laughs> I, I love the scene where we burst in on Jermaine and Hannah, not to give too much away, but I thought everyone was so funny in that scene and it was really fun. And it felt kind of like Scooby-Doo. <laughs> yeah, that was, I loved, there's a lot of scenes in the movie of sneaking. I'm like really into sneaking. <laughs> and I, almost, there's even a scene that got cut out with more sneaking. <laughs> and climbs into a window. It was oh, like God. sneaky scene after sneaky scene after <laughs> sneaky scene. And I just, it, it like filled me with so much excitement. I was giddy while we were shooting it because <laughs> I loved those scenes so much. But Gillian, you know, I was watching the movie last night, you know, where what I think is like maybe my favorite there there's a lot and there there's ties for a lot of them but um my one of my favorite scenes that or performances from you in the movie is when you when you show up to the house and you've forgotten your keys for the first time and you're like I'm so sorry I didn't have them around my neck but it was embarrassing and it just, and it, oh my god and she's just like staring at you with a blank stare I love it so much. Yeah, it was just really fun. Oh, and I love the scene at the end with Hannah where you're just learning and growing from each other and it's just a beautiful scene. And so now Gillian, as a director yourself, uh, what did you learn from Chris that you passed on to your projects directing? Well, I haven't done as much scripted directing as Chris. I did one short film that was scripted. So I've mainly done documentary, but I think um, something I've taken from Chris is really creating a great atmosphere on set that feels collaborative and everybody feels included and important. Um, and I think that you really get great work out of people when everybody feels invested and like we're all together communally making this thing. And so I try and I try and take that from Chris um, when I'm directing um, and just yeah, that, that Chris was having fun. And it's, and it's, um, it's really hard work making a film, but it's really inspiring when you see a director who is having fun. And it's a great reminder that this is a, this is a really cool thing that we get to do for a living. Sure. And in that vein, what advice would you give to aspiring performers and directors? <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I, 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 I have said this before with Gillian, but I, I do think like one of the, one of the things, the only reason I have a career at all is because I, um, I just start making things, um, on my own and, um, and didn't wait so much for, 
um, permission or, or to, you know, for the right channels to approve. And I think it, it's hard to, in an industry like this and in many of the creative industries to, to sort of like know um, how to get started. And um, one of the things that is available for people right now in the time we live in is, is just to go out and, and make something on your own. And I think that, um, that that's really um, hard to do, but, but really rewarding. And, um, and so I encourage everybody to do that. And finally, what have you seen lately that you've really liked? What We Do in Shadows, which is written by Jemaine. <laughs> I love that show. It's so good. <laughs> I think it is so good. <laughs> and Chris? Um, my, you know, my friend Amy Simons had a film that was also slotted to, um, to premiere at South by Southwest, and it comes out um on august 7th the same day that ours does and amy and i have been friends for years and years and her movie is called she dies tomorrow and it's so good and so appropriate for the times we're living in right now um and i really loved it and i really recommend everyone seeing that as well i worked with amy simons for one day on this tiny indie movie years ago she's amazing oh yeah she's so cool well, thank you, ladies. Thank you for the work that you do. Thank I really you. appreciate it. Thank Have you. Thank you as well. <laughs>